Good morning, everyone. I finally updated my Librem 5 here to Byzantium, which is the operating system release from sometime last year. Uh, the process was a little bit annoying. For some reason, even though part of the point of these Linux phones is that they act like a desktop Linux system, the Librem 5 operating system does not support uh, updates from one version to another version uh, without doing a reinstall. So you, just like a uh, Android phone or something, you have to do a complete re-image of the system to get the new version of PureOS. But nevertheless, I want to go ahead and take a quick look and show you what is new in this version of PureOS. So one thing that they haven't fixed is this required lock screen with a numeric only passcode, which is the password for the user account that's provided. The default password is one, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the default apps that we have installed here on the, uh, on the phone. And this is basically the same set of apps as last time, except we have maps installed by default and we have a camera app installed by default. Now, just like the last version of uh, PureOS, if we go ahead and open that camera app, it doesn't do anything. The camera app does not work. And that's true whether we look at the front camera or the rear camera. So camera app still doesn't work. There is a camera app installed by default though, which is an improvement. Uh, the Maps app, if I go ahead and open that up, now that I've connected to Wi-Fi, we can see that the Maps app included here does work to some extent. It's showing my location as somewhere in Nashua, New Hampshire, which isn't entirely accurate, but probably is what it's getting from my IP address by using uh, Mozilla location services, which I went ahead and turned on when I did the install just to see what it would do. So that's kind of neat. Maps does something this time. Uh, the location services showing me in the middle of the pond isn't necessarily useful for navigation or anything, but still there is a Maps app here and I bet if I fought with it a little bit, I could get the GPS to work because I've heard rumors that other people have gotten it to work. Now, the other big problem I had with PureOS previously was that the App Store did not work at all. Let's see if it works now. So here's the App Store. You can see that it has a default suggestion of the sound recorder app. But let's go ahead and see if I can go ahead and look at the games category and actually get a list of apps. The ability of this uh, app store or package manager to actually show any apps whatsoever, even in categories, is uh, not great. Finally, it loaded, which I hadn't gotten it to do reliably previously. So I guess it does work to some extent, but that uh, user experience is not great. It should be able to show the list of apps from the app database instantaneously with no issues. Now let's go ahead and see if we can install something while we're in here. I guess uh, Animatch is probably gonna actually run reasonably well in this. Go ahead and poke install. Type in the default password. And it's downloading and installing. We'll go ahead and open that up. We have a splash screen. And that works fine and has reasonably smooth animations. If I go ahead and swipe up from the bottom, we can go ahead and close that app. So being able to install and run apps works better than it had previously. I don't have a SIM card in here right now, but one thing that I did test after installing a new version of the operating system is putting in a Verizon SIM card. And it's uh, able to attempt an outgoing call, but I didn't get any audio on that outgoing call. So that's disappointing. That didn't work previously with Verizon, uh, with the old version of the operating system, and it still does not appear to be working. Well, it looks like there has been some progress on the Librem 5 since the last time I took a look at it. It's not quite ready for me to switch over to it as my default phone.